All right, so on this oak log here, which is about a certain diameter, these millipedes love this diameter log. Not sure why, but you'll always find Brachycybe feather millipedes. And right here we have an adult millipede just cruising around. Uh, but if we look over to the right, we'll see something really interesting, which is a ton of baby Brachycybe millipedes. And if you notice, there's multiple adults and obviously multiple babies that live on this log. That's because Brachycybe millipedes are social arthropods. <laughs> and they're not insects, they're millipedes, but they are arthropods. And they have their segmented legs. But uh, these arthropods live in a community where they do concentric feeding of this, which is probably what the babies are eating. So this white stuff here is fungus, which grows on the oak log. Fungus really doesn't grow too well on the, the pines that are around, like the Douglas fir and the sugar pine, but there are several different ascomycotin fungi that really enjoy devouring these oak logs. Now, what we can gather, and what we used to gather from our lab back on the east coast about brachycybe millipedes, is that these millipedes actually will farm this fungi. So they don't haphazardly find this, they actually kind of plant it, they take care of it, they groom it, rid it of pesticides, things like that, and they also select what species they want to grow on their oak logs. So if they need different requirements, such as different nutrients from for their diet, or perhaps even metabolites that take care of their own internal parasites, they will take care of certain species of fungi. And they're usually these crust fungi. They aren't the ones that make the beautiful cute mushrooms that we all love. Even though there are beautiful cute mushrooms on here in Basidiomycotin, little Trumides growing here, or Sterium. Now back to the millipedes. If you notice, all these babies are in a group. Well, if we look down here, we can actually see something kind of interesting. Another awesome facet of these Brachycybe millipedes is that the daddy will take care of the babies. And we have a couple examples of that. We have another father over here wrapping himself around a cluster of eggs to protect them from predators. Now, these eggs are physically protected by the father's... Where'd he go? There he is. By the father's body. But they are also protected by the adults having an ability to secrete a latex kind of enzyme that disturbs predators from eating them. It's not a very pleasant taste or feel. So we have a very interesting arthropod here that not only has a social setting with parental care, it also has this ability to farm fungi and selectively choose who it wants to take care of. So these uh, these millipedes are kind of a groundbreaking connection between having a, I guess it would be a eusocial kind of practice. And uh, I'm going to include a paper that our lab recently just published about these gorgeous, beautiful creatures. And so if you ever are in California, in the Sierra Nevada, these guys are very easy to find by flipping specifically oak logs. And you can even tell that this is an oak because of the grain right there. And if you are on the East Coast, you can find another species within the same genus, Brachycybe leconti, which is in southern West Virginia, uh, down through the southern Appalachian states, such as uh, North Carolina and Tennessee, especially. So I'm going to do something that's really nice for these little guys. I'm going to flip them back over gently and maintain their habitat back right where I found it so their babies can be nice and moist. And here we have a couple more because I disturbed their nest hanging out on these little polypores, which they don't actually care about, but they do care about the ascomycotin fungi. And there they go. Back home. See? Always flip a log if you're trying to look for salamanders or bugs. It's their home. Okay. Uh, time to go.